What is up guys, my name is Jason Guyatt. About in August of 2020, I stumbled upon the company Cool East Market, selling a bunch of cool tabby socks and other shoes based out in Toronto and Canada. I've never really tried tabby socks at this point. I did have a few five finger um, in gingy socks at this point, but these tabby socks I found were too cheap to let up. I had to give them a try. So I wanted to make this video as kind of a mini review, having them for just under a year now, and just to hopefully help other people see if they might want to buy some as well. Let's get into it. Here's a quick price breakdown sheet that was included in the box. As you can see here, I also got the Lems waterproof leather boulder boot, and the socks and the sheet were included in that box. Pretty personable, and I like the easy breakdown of it all. Alright, so here you can see all the socks that I got. Um, I only got one of the ankle tabby socks in white, but I got a pair of three pair set of the black. Then I got the longer, tall tabby socks in black. I got two different lengths of the Vibram toe socks, we'll give it a try. And then the Canadian Polar Fleece tabby socks. There wasn't one in the large, I believe, so I had to try extra large. We'll see if that's too big or not, but uh, these ones you can kind of see both ends attached to those metal. White ones came loose. These ones came loose. Vibram Large. Let's try them on. Put the ankle tabby socks in white. Here are the black ankle tabby socks. Pretty good right off the hop. The tall tabby socks in black. Okay, let's start with the Athletic No-Show Vibrams. Quite a bit of hole here. I don't know how well I can get that on camera. Let me see. Quite a hole here. <laughs> oh, 
All right, the Wool Blend Crew V Brooms. And last but not least, the Polar Feet Tabby Socks. This one's obviously the most unique. And it has quite the block for your heel. Obviously, my foot's a little bit sweaty from trying on these other socks, but I think I'm glad I got the XL. These seem a little tight. Hmm. Interesting. I think they'll definitely be warm in the winter time. All right, so fast forward into the future after I've had a bit of time to try these. So it is now March of 2021. The white tabby socks I haven't worn as much because they are white and they will start to decolor, obviously, depending on the things you're walking on. They turn dark quite quick, but that's most pairs of white socks. Pretty much being exactly the same as the black pair of ankle tabby socks. These guys I've worn quite a bit. Uh, and they are not very durable. Uh, as you can see, they just get destroyed by the... So I think my big toe is quite maybe large for the sock, so it kind of stretches it out at the same time as repetitive wear and tear. And for $4 socks, I didn't overly expect much else from that, but at the same time... Uh, how much more expensive the Vibrams are, yes, it's quite significant, but if these are just going to get deteriorated after literally only a few wears, depending on the size of your big toe, unfortunately it might not be worth it, despite the really cheap price of this, which is unfortunate. Also haven't worn the longer black tabby socks as as much, but since they are a bit larger, they're woven a little bit thicker and I haven't had the same deterioration problem as I have the ankle ones. Vibram toe socks. Very, very close to par with the Njinji toe socks. Uh, I think I might like them slightly less than Njinji and for reasons I'm not even quite quite sure. It might just be the way that the toes are shaped which are still very similar but uh, something, something about Njinji. The longer Vibrams, um, identical, just pretty much a bit longer. Uh, and the Fleece Polar, um, like I said, warm. I've actually wore these on a walk once uh, in a Canadian winter here this past winter. And I wore them with my Earthrunner sandals, so they are warm if you want to be wearing. That's the beauty of the tabby socks, is you can wear them with like the thong type sandals with the split toe. So kind of... A pain to get on for sure with this kind of locked heel you definitely have to shimmy it up almost maybe get a size bigger we'll use the sizing information on the site to try to judge uh, it's definitely a pain to get on it's not an easy slip on sock to be sure but it is pretty warm um, with the nice split in the toes if you do want to try a winter sock while wearing um, sandals 
which for me is good because so little pairs of shoes fit the width of my foot. If I can wear sandals to help my foot splay, it was great. It was super, super comfortable. Snow will get on these and it will kind of get wet if you get back inside and it starts melting. So it depends on the adventure you go on. But they were still super nice for that reason. So kind of a final verdict. I want to recommend these ankle tabby socks so, so bad at the price point. But if your feet are anything similar to mine, it just might not be worth it. If you have smaller feet, maybe a smaller big toe, and it isn't stretching out maybe as much, it might last you a bit longer. You could give it a try. At $4, why not give it a try? See if it works for you. Uh, my mom's a little bit better with a sewing needle than I am, and I got her to try to fix up some of the holes generated in the big toe as much as I could. That's the only reason I've extended the life this long, but like I said, literally only after a couple of wears, just starting to make those holes in the big toe, unfortunately. The Vibram Five Fingers, way more durable, uh, just a very, very similar to Injinji, like I said, they're great. Um, the Fleece Polar Sock, great for like a winter sock, um, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys found this review somewhat helpful. Um, definitely check out Coolies to Market. I think they're an uh, awesome brand. Um, I never really was in contact much with them, but still seemed like a great company based out of Canada. I'd definitely give them a try. Happy to answer any questions you guys might have about these down below in the comments. Um, yeah, I hope you have a good one. Peace.